I started it by accident on my blog. Um, I did a big photo contest way back in 2008. And I said, if you take a picture of yourself with my book, um, and I'll give out prizes, and we'll have some fun. I'll pick out the best ones. And I thought maybe I'd get a dozen pictures, and I'd post them up on the blog, and it'd be fun, and I'd give out some signed books. But I got hundreds and hundreds of pictures, just, you know, people doing crazy stuff, and they were on rooftops, and dressing up. And, and I thought, wow. And I... I and after that, I'm like, wow, people are really reading my blog. They're really paying attention. And then I thought, maybe I could take this enthusiasm and their excitement and point it in an interesting direction, like a useful direction. And so I said, I'm going to donate some money to charity. And if you, if you donate, I will match your donations for a month. And I was hoping to raise about $5,000, and we raised about $50,000. And... Uh, it used up every bit of my money. <laughs> um, but, uh, but I've been broke before. Um, and I've never been broke for a good cause like that. So uh, after that, I thought, this is a really neat thing. And we've just continued to expand it ever since. Uh, the community's been very supportive. And I think we've just about crested over, we're nearly at $3 million that we've raised. Yeah. Not with that one. Not with that fundraiser. Um, we it was you know we do a, a longer one at the end of the year every year, um, and that's kind of familiar to us. And I thought maybe we could do one earlier in the year, just a week, you know, and sell some stuff and give people a, a, a chance to donate and put some money towards the charity that isn't close to Christmas, you know, because times are tight sometimes around Christmas. So we tried it out. I was thinking maybe $50,000, um, and then it really took off. I actually lost a bet with uh, uh, Maria, uh, the woman who runs the charity for me now. Uh, it was that last day, and she said, we're going to hit 200000 I said, don't get your hopes up. You know, that's, that's, this is our first year. You know, I don't think we're going to get that high. And she said, she said when we hit 200000 you're going to buy me a milkshake. <laughs> uh, and so, and she was right. We, we raised two oh five, and so I bought everyone milkshakes, so... Oh, it's marvelous. I, I, I couldn't be happier. I, it's one of the things that makes me proudest of people as a whole, but geeks particularly. Um, I do really firmly believe that people are good. You know, people are good. They want to do good things. They want to make the world a better place. It's just that sometimes we feel very helpless. We don't, we don't know how to do that. Um, and so... I'm just helping, I'm just providing an opportunity for people to do good things. And it's the people themselves that are taking me up on it. Um, it makes me very proud of my fellow geeks. Um, <clears throat> Heifer International does so many things. Uh, just so many things. Uh, and it's different for each community. It's different for each part of the world. Um, some parts of the world, goats are perfect. Um, in other parts of the world, it doesn't work with the climate. You know, the, 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 it doesn't grow the proper crops. Maybe they don't have the right sort of soil or the right sort of weather to grow the plants that a goat would eat. So maybe then people get chickens, or maybe they get fruit trees. Um, you know, maybe they, they go to Heifer and they say, well, we want goats. But then Heifer goes in, and they talk with the community, and they look at the landscape. They do a lot of research, and they say, well, here your people are, are mostly farmers. 
you need honeybees. If you have bees, then it pollinates your crops, and then everyone gets better crops. And then you get honey, and then you get wax. And you need trees to prevent soil erosion. And that means, you know, you also get better crops because your soil isn't washing away. And, um, and you need chickens because chickens will eat insects. Um, and chickens, when they peck, it aerates and they scratch and it, it aerates the soil. Um, and so, you know, they, they Heifer does something different with every community. Um, some places they, they do the goats, some places they provide sheep for wool. Uh, some places sheep wouldn't survive, so they do alpaca, which provide wonderful wool. Uh, that happens in Peru, I think. Um, and the alpaca can deal with the very hilly terrain uh, that exists there. It's, it's different everywhere, and that's what really makes Heifer so marvelous, is they have the capacity to do something good no matter where, uh, no matter where the help is needed.